Hi, I'm Giancarlo. And I'm Felicia. I like how you looked at me. I'm not sure about your name. <laughs> this is our review of... High Noon Saloon. Pew, pew! Yeah. yee High Noon Saloon. <laughs> I could go for a drink right about now, man. It's almost noon, isn't it? Yeah, look, see, the bottle's all broken on the floor. They don't, yeah, they don't respect their alcohol. None. True story, I was telling Luca, I was walking on St. Catherine, and there was a dude with a cowboy hat and cowboy boots and spurs. Oh! <laughs> True story. And it was going click. Did they click? They clicked? Yeah, they clicked. They, I got so oh, man, excited. That's awesome. In High Noon Saloon, players try to kill each other. In the box, you'll find a deck of cards which contains guns, melee weapons, and enhancements, and reload cards. Eight character cards you can play with or without abilities. A deck of bullet cards which tell you how many bullets you managed to rush into your gun. Eight player mats with space for health, character card, holster, and hand. Summary rule cards for each player. A map of the saloon, character pawn tokens, life counter tokens, bullet markers, and a rule book. The last man standing is the winner. Here's how to set up. Place the board in the middle of the table. Give each player a character card and decide if this game will be with or without the abilities. Each player starts with 20 health points or grit. Shuffle the low deck and place it face down next to the board. Shuffle the saloon deck and deal out seven cards to each player. Now each player will equip themselves with weapons and guns. When you equip a gun, Flip over a bullet card and see how many bullets it comes with. You can mark this with the bullet markers. Place your token on an empty spot in the saloon. This is where you'll start. Now that each player has done their setup phase, you can start the game. Let me explain the saloon and how it works. The white spots are available spaces you can move to. The orange spots are spaces you can jump to. The yellow arrows show the range of a melee attack. So for example, you can hit someone behind the bar with a frying pan, but that player cannot attack from behind the bar the player in the middle of the saloon. Some spots have cover which will add armor to your defense. This is marked with a shield. Some spots also give you other bonuses. If you're behind the bar and take no actions, you can heal 2 grit. If you're on the balcony, you get plus 2 to your attacks. If you end your turn alone behind the piano, you can get some extra bullets. If you're hiding like a little bitch in the pantry, you'll get minus 2 attacks but plus 3 shield. On your turn you have 6 steps which you have to follow in order. In the scavenging phase you get to discard from your hand and then draw back up to 7. In the weapon phase you get to equip your gun, reload, drop weapons or swap weapons. In the jump phase you get to move into the middle of the saloon if you wish to go there. Now you enter the fighting phase. Here declare if you're attacking using a gun or a melee weapon. Then you play enhancement cards which adds more damage or effect to your current weapon. If you're using a gun, you must say how many bullets you're using. Once you've done all that, you declare who you're attacking. The player now gets to play block cards or cards that allow him to return fire. Subtract the amount of block from the attack and that player takes that many wounds. The next phase is to move. If you jumped, you can only move to an orange spot. If you didn't jump, you can move to any open space in the saloon. You now get a final weapon phase and end your turn. Play goes around until one man is left standing. Now some of you know how we feel about games that eliminate players. We mostly hate them, but this game is quick and fast paced, so it's not that bad. But if you're playing a lot of players, it sucks to be eliminated first and forced to watch TV or order the pizza. And if you're the new guy to the group and everyone gangs up on you, you'll die before you even get to play. You can't play this as a hardcore game and you should only play it while you're watching TV or having drinks and should be the secondary thing you do. Don't expect to sit down and tell yourself, okay, I'm winning this one, because it's very luck based. You might draw crap for two turns and then draw a good weapon with one bullet in it. If one guy attacks you and you lose all your defense cards, the next person to attack you will ruin your health. But then again, the point is to kill players quickly so that a new game can be played. You have to picture a real saloon fight with guns. Expect it to be a short fight. The artwork is nice and simple, the rulebook is good and the production quality is standard. It would have been nice to have 3D pawns for the characters. Our first round made us die of laughter when a player with a chair made someone go through a window. 
if your players have good imagination and storytelling. This game can become hilarious at times. There is also team play which we found worked better. We felt that there was room for improvement like line of sight and a bigger board. But all in all, this game stays true to slugfest games and it's a fun shoot 'em up. We're giving High Noon 7 bullets out of 10. 